A lot of girls like don't eat for two days if they want to have anal sex. Two whole days for anal? It's not worth it. No. I won't do it. I won't two do days? it. Who and has I the love strength day. for anal after you've starved yourself? That's you need a good to, Adriana you need to... <laughs> Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, you you do. You, you a lot of girls. I remember one of my friends was like, "I'm having anal tonight for the first time. I have I've been drinking clear soup for two days." And I'm like, "That is, is it fucking sucks. Ramadan I will for your not... ass." <laughs> <laughs> what, what is, if she, you could just time your anal around Ramadan, yeah, that would bad. actually be really good. <laughs> Micah Fox is here, friend of the show, hilarious bitch, my kind of doppelganger. I'm, you know, t- tooting my own horn by saying that. <laughs> That's two both weird. horns. Let's toot a few. Yeah, is that what like we were just talking about. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're just talking about farts off air, guys. We're gonna get back into it. But uh, Mike has a weekly show live from outer space in Bushwick at the Cobra Club. If you're in New York City, um, where is that? What time? When is it? It's at 9 p.m. It's off the Jefferson L stop. Ian's gonna be on the next one. So uh-huh. What Friday day of the night. week? That's are we a Friday at? night. Every Friday, Friday nights. Night. Okay. Best weekly in town. Oh, That's really? Yeah, Very really cool. Fun. Very. Hip. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> if I I'm in town cool. this Friday. You're oh, on it this Friday? Yeah. Come Maybe I'll it. stop in and say hey. But I just don't go to Brooklyn ever, ever, ever now. Come to Brooklyn. I, yeah. But I'm going to be doing spots in the city on Friday uh, night. You know, like yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah. to like really stack them up, get yeah. ready for my special taping, which is May 22nd, everyone. May Ooh. 22nd. Make sure that you're in Los Angeles. May 22nd. Build a trip around it. I don't know what day of the week it is. I think it's either a Tuesday or a Wednesday. But May 22nd is the date that I'm taping my Netflix special in Los Angeles. All details coming up um, soon as I can get them. It is a Wednesday. And we're going to have some fun. And there will be two shows to go to that night. Tickets will be available. They'll be free. Uh, make sure you make it out. But um, So Micah and Ian are here. Um, yeah, how are you guys? Good? I'm good, yeah. Yeah, we were just talking about farts off air uh-huh. and <laughs> discussing whether or not the sound of a fart is inspired by the butt cheeks or inspired. Like, your your asshole is like, you know what? <laughs> it has a muse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's Shakespearean. Uh, is caused by butt cheeks or... Flapping. Or, it's the sphincter. Or the sphinct. The kind that's like... <clears throat> Is is when the butt the the butt what's your hole. favorite kind of fart alone the, when you're by yourself straight up one that asks a question <laughs> yeah 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 one yeah. that asks uh, a question that can't be answered uh huh you know like yeah, one yeah. of those existential questions <laughs> why are we here that yeah. kind of question yeah I like those too like a so- Socrates but mm-hmm. for your butt <laughs> where you're just like oh someone's got a little toot today <laughs> you're right I didn't think of it like that <laughs> <laughs> well when you say it like that mm-hmm. asshole. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's some uh, some where you're just like, I- I'm so glad no one else was around to like. I'm, I'm glad I didn't let that one out like an SBD, you know, where you're like, oh, it won't smell that bad, and then you're like, oh dear. Do you, yeah. Do you ever think in your head you're like, I know this isn't gonna smell, and yes. then you have to start pointing to the kid on the train. Oh, uh, oh, and you you do them, <laughs> you let them loose on the train? Yeah, I have to because if I don't, I get you stomach ha- aches. Oh, what? well, guess what? Screw you, Suck Ian. it up, literally. It's a train. The train stinks. I mean, in fairness, if anyone farts on a train, they're probably going to think it's Ian. That's a yeah, good point. Yeah, because I look like a fart. You've gotten blamed for a lot of farts <laughs> yeah. that weren't your responsibility. So now you might, there. You're you're might like as well get them out. You're like a fart with a face. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's so true. I'd be Thank like, that you. guy just, that guy gets stomach issues if he doesn't let yeah, him out. So I'm going to let him farts. do it. So people love me. By the way, you're not some, this isn't some unique quality that you possess because you get stomach stomach cramps if you f- don't fart we all do but we hold them in i mean i was br- i was being brutalized on the train by my own digestive system or right. uh, on the um on plane yesterday but i knew letting it out would make everyone suffer so i suffered so why didn't you go to the bathroom then i did eventually yeah. and um yeah and i let out but like you know because a, a lot of being on a plane is not being able to get up and go to the bathroom either the people right. next to you are sleeping and you're waiting on that or there's turbulence and they put the sign on and then you're the asshole who gets up and makes a big commotion or mm-hmm. you're landing or you're – there's a lot of rules when you fly. Um, so you can't time it perfectly. But I've let them – I fall asleep and sometimes they slip out. That's and that when it happens. happens. And that's when it's like I feel so bad. Yeah. And what do you do? Do you? I, I don't. You're I just asleep. pretend How to be do you asleep. Feel bad? Oh, you wait, wait. You're falling. No, it'll you know? it'll wake me up. <laughs> do you, what, the, are you a dog? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally. Oh, that's happened. I love that. That's I so funny. I get woken up because <laughs> of the embarrassment more than anything because you just realize where you are and who you've just done this thing in front of. I don't have enough shame for that. I don't oh. think that would wake me up. You know how you know oh, how parents yeah. when they have a new 
kid they hand out candy with like a little leather to like it's oh, our yeah. son's like first on flight. The plane. he's gonna be yelling i'm gonna do that but for my stomach aches <laughs> oh my god you just have um uh what what could you give someone to put over their face like an air freshener or mm -hmm. like, one of like one of those face masks, masks but <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. yes yeah. Let's, oh my god that's so fun. just quietly hand it to everyone in your like behind yeah, you yeah. in front of you i had a lot of coffee today that is so <laughs> funny oh i was like putting down some broccoli when my mom like made me all this broccoli because i eat veggies all the time and i my dad was watching me eat before a flight and he was like this is a crime what you're doing <laughs> what you're loading up like this is it looked like i was like trying like i was about to do a prank on a plane <laughs> like that was how much broccoli i was eating it's like bioterrorism it really was it was so it was so much yeah, yeah we're gonna have to arrest your ass yeah i did a hiking with kevin um you can go check that out it's on kevin nealon's youtube channel but at one point he was like have you farted on this hike and i'm like no and he's like do you want and i'm like i don't even think i'm sure i could but i think my body shuts down and it's like, we're, no farts are coming out right now. Mm. When it's, when you know the, com like right now I couldn't fart, even though I probably have so many farts in me. I've had coffee. <laughs> I ate a lot last night. I chewed a lot of gum chamber. this morning too. Like every- Gum? Oh, gum makes me fart like crazy. It makes everyone fart because you like breathe in air. Oh, wow. And it's that uh, fake Otherwise, sugar. Otherwise, she's not breathing shit. Yeah. Other <laughs> It makes you swallow air is what okay. I meant to say. What am I talking? Thank you for catching that. No, it makes you swallow air and it has the aspartame in it, which makes me like the sugar-free stuff. Mm. That gives oh, you yeah. disgusting farts, like m farts made in a lab. They're bad. Those farts kill rats in a lab. Yeah. Do you, do you ever eat sugar-free stuff, Micah? I, I used to. I you know I grew up in the 80s, so that's all we ate. Yeah. I mean, the, it's disgusting. Those yeah. farts are really disgusting. We got to move on from fart talk. It's kind of grossing me out. And it takes a lot to gross me out. <laughs> Karen hey. Feehan just walked in the door. Sorry, I'm late. Um, so we are not sorry that you're late because you sent us a picture of your ass in consolation. Yeah, thank you. So Karen you. was running late today, and she um, texted Micah. She was like, I'm running late, the train, and whatever, and Ian, and um, and said, show this to everyone, like as a consolation prize, and it was a picture of her um, taking a selfie in the mirror with her fine ass. Thank you so much. Your fine naked ass. Is this the hot girl side of the table? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, get Micah over here. Uh, hey, well, I'm well, a hot girl. He, okay, you are. Some days you are. Uh, I'm a hot bitch. Yep. Uh... <laughs> How was uh, everyone's weekend, guys? Good? Did yeah, we have good great. times? Any yep. good stories come out of it? Anything of note? I was in Phoenix, had a lot of Squirt Nation come out. Shout Ooh. out to Anushka. Nanushka. Ooh. You said I wouldn't remember your name, and I didn't. Yes, I did. Anushka nah. and Ali, and then a tall black man who was super nice, but I forget your name. Uh, he was a listener to the show, really nice guy, forgot your name, but I did ask for it because I was like, I was going to give you a shout out, but I didn't remember it. After Anushka, I had to commit that to memory yeah. and then I lost yours. And then another guy that I only remember your name because you messaged me later, Peter is also a listener. Thank you for coming out. If you come to the show and you listen and you tell me your name, I will give you a shout out on Monday's show, uh, generally, if I remember. But thank you for listening and thank you for coming to those shows. Um yeah, I'm, if it was a tall black guy in Arizona, it had to be a Phoenix Sun. Yeah, yeah, because there are those are the only black people in the entire state. It was a weird Phoenix is hot and yeah. weird, but it's it was good. It was a fun time. Nice. Yeah, Andrew Hell and I yeah. had a good weekend. He, I, oh man, he's on a plane right now. He got stuck on. We got the wrong. <laughs> we booked the wrong ticket home. I booked the wrong ticket home. So I was supposed to leave at 1.20 in the morning after our shows. Like, we were supposed to go right from the shows to the airport. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, my God. I, I loved it. I was like, I don't have to go back to my hotel That's room perfect. and then mm -hmm. wake up at 7. It's just like yep. on. I was so excited. And then I looked at my ticket just to be like, what? Where are we sitting? In between the shows. And I realized it was for Monday morning. Oh. And I was like, oh, no. And I, I called Jen because Jen uh, helps me with this kind of stuff on the weekends when she can. And I called Jen, our producer, and she fixed it. But um, it, Jen. but and we couldn't but get Andrew, Andrew on stuck. a different flight. So Andrew <laughs> kept that flight. He had to stay in Phoenix yesterday all day. Oh, no. The snake on a plane. Oh, my God. And I was like, <laughs> you should do something with your day. Go out and go to a uh, – there's spring training happening there, right. like at the oh, stadium so right fun. across the yeah. street. Like there's and, and we made friends with local comics. Like There were people that right. wanted to hang out with him. And he just – yesterday all he did was sit in the hotel room all day. He's like I went to the I went to the pool for 15 minutes and that was it. But like, I, I just I worried I about him I yesterday. I dunked my sandwich in the pool to get it wet so I could eat it. <laughs> so it was my I teeth so I could choose it. Choose, choose, I said choose, choose it. it. So, 
Oh my God, he is saying huh so much and he's got me saying huh instead of what or could you say that again oh, or no. pardon. Huh? Oh, wait, wait. We were that doing is it- not the direction that the influence should go. <laughs> Oh, he should be, be getting funnier him. and more erudite, <laughs> and not nope. cool. I am saying, huh? He, because I call him out every time he says it, and then I started saying it, oh. and it is, it is an epidemic. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Huh. Oh, God. <laughs> like a donkey. Oh, yeah. It is so oh. bad. Uh, so. I used to I used to get made fun of by my family for saying wool instead of like well I go wool. Oh, that's a good one. Wool. wool. Yeah, yeah. You do say that. Well, you don't know. My yeah, dad used to make m- get mad at me because he used to because I'd go Noah and he'd go yeah. Noah's Ark. So I'd always <laughs> say your name. He goes, Why are you bring Noah into this? And I'd be like, I hate you, Dad. Noah. <laughs> um, dad burn. So I was saying your name all oh, Noah. I was saying your name my whole childhood. Hmm. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was a good weekend of shows. Yeah, someone um, apparently someone's pretending to be me on Facebook and has started an account that l- looks exactly like oh, mine and Micah, is messaging a lot of Good for you. <laughs> Micah. I'm getting so many followers. <laughs> She's caught. And someone wrote my dad, and then my dad wrote me Nuh-uh. to be like, is this you? And I go, Dad, why would I talk like that? It sounds like someone who's learning. It sounds like a bot, you know? Like, yeah. it, there's, like I sincerely appreciate you writing me, good sir. Like, it's like that. No. And my dad was like, is this you? Have have like, you seen the movie Us? Not yet. No, not yet. Oh boy, that Doppel sounds Gangers, like right? it's from us. Oh, like someone kind of being you, but not uh-huh, you. The cool other. reference that yeah. nobody can get. Yeah. You know what, Karen? <laughs> Fuck off. It's All the right? new Jordan Peele. <laughs> yeah. Movie that everyone saw. I saw it Thursday. This it was really good. Yeah, uh-huh. everyone saw it. Everyone yeah. Keep bragging about having thirteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I get the senior tickets. <laughs> you would. Yeah. Yep. You Dreyfus. Ian does get Dreyfus. One time I was on a date and uh, they caught me. With a me what? And no. I was, it, it was, Look yes. at him bragging and bragging. Yeah. And uh, and she lost her shit on them. She's like, because I was like, my grandmother bought me these tickets. So you, got, you, you bought tickets. the senior tickets online and then when you got them in person and the ticket They were like, hey, it's a like, senior. And I was like, well, you know, my grandmother. took a date on a senior discount? I know. Isn't Why that didn't insane? you just bring out the entertainment book of coupons? Right. I know. It's really. <laughs> but then, fucking what do you want from me? What do you but then want Micah, from me? his it's, date defended him and was like, his grandma bought these. His yeah. grandma oh bought my these. God. Yeah. It, it was a which uh, is an insane thing that your grandma would go online well, and buy you tickets dead, for your date. So all my family's dead. That was so a it really was a good lie to begin impersonation with. Impersonation of your tranny date. <laughs> <laughs> what was it His was grandma. one of my girls and the the fella really came out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like I've never seen this side of you before. <laughs> I hope to later tonight. But, uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah please. Get those muscles uh, ring, ready. Ring. Ian Fidance is here. Yeah. Micah Fox is here. <laughs> Karen Feehan is here. Uh, you can hear their podcast. What is your podcast, you guys? Oh, it's defunct. Oh, never mind. Uh, but you should. Uh, <laughs> well, you can listen to Ian's podcast, Ian Finance's Wild World. Yeah, well, I got a new one, Sex Ian the City. Yes, Sex Ian the City, in which yes. you li- walk oh, shut Sex up, in the Ian. City. Yeah. You you made a podcast just for a title? I, no. no. Well, I've never seen Sex yeah, in the which City. Came My first. buddy's seen every episode, and I've always kind of hated it. We're rewatching it, and and what are you I on right now? Loves it. Yeah, isn't it great? Uh, are you Aiden or Big? Oh, I haven't gotten to Aiden oh, yet. Fuck. We're just on episode one hundred six. Oh wow! But we have real bad ADD, so we have a hard time sticking. I, I to the was episode. reading the reviews of your ep- of your podcast because you had posted some. People uh-huh. really seem to like it, but people are yeah. like, uh, "You don't even talk about the show." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can yeah. tell. That, it's very fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, what are, do you, what, what are your, what's your takeaways from watching six episodes? So uh, I fucking love Carrie. She smokes indoors. Yeah. Um, and I want to be as cool as big. And, uh. I want that for you too. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. I don't see it coming. Who are Even you guys close? into? No. <laughs> oh, on the show? Mm-hmm. Big, a thousand percent. I really? hate Miranda. Oh, yeah. I like big. Why? I can't stand Miranda. Most she's people are not like into her. Yeah. Because she's the only believable character on yeah. the show. Why? Because yeah. she wears fucking collared suits? No, because she makes sense. Everyone else is acting like an idiot all day. Yeah, that's mm. a good point. She's like not Samantha's over here putting like pineapple on her pussy and making people like turn it into souffle. I'm like, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's actually no no no. I don't like Charlotte. 
That's what. Well, I yeah. Like. You know what I don't like is that they're selling us that any of these women are friends outside of their yes. connection with Carrie. Right. Like when they do a Charlotte Samantha storyline where no like way. they care about each other. I'm like, no. yeah, right. Oh, I've If Carrie's going like, hey, Samantha, let's go to brunch. Charlotte's coming. Samantha would go, I'm gonna bail out. Yes. Honey. Yes. Uh, yeah. In a heartbeat, yep. she yep. would never right. hang out with Charlotte no. ever. No. Miranda no. and Samantha might get along. Like I could see those two. Charlotte is a bummer. Yeah. No one would ever be friends with her. Mm-hmm. She sucks. She would mm-hmm. only be friends with people exactly like her. She would never be friends with someone as cool as uh, Carrie. Right. She's a she's a bummer. She thinks everything that she's uh, uptight about everything, yeah. and she doesn't like to like really share much about herself, which is what you look for in a friend is someone who's like lets you share a lot of weird stuff and yeah. doesn't judge you, and also shares weird stuff about herself. She's a she's. A, the worst. She's that a New York archetype, though, that had to be in the script, though. Yeah, she it makes sense that, like, why she's princess. in a... Yeah. yeah. But I, she'd I, never be friends with I anybody. I dug in, like, one of the first episodes how uh, Samantha was like, have sex like a man. Yeah. And then Carrie has some guy go down on her, and then she's like, okay, go. I'm going <laughs> to smoke a cigarette. And I was like, out. yeah, that's my ideal day. Yeah. I, um, <laughs> I relate to Samantha because she refuses to get an AIDS test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you pulled a Samantha? That's, yeah, the um, act like a dude, just like have a guy. That's what the, there used to be like a, I heard a story about Britney Spears that she would just like, have guys like she would pick out a guy to dance club and they'd be like miss spears is waiting for oh no this is i I love her so much what i heard a story about a um this is what it was i was talking about the britney thing because i heard um i forget who told the story but it was it seemed really trustworthy that a certain singer songwriter actress that we all know was I had a party at her house. She had just broken up with someone after a long time and had this like party of like a coming out party. Like I'm out of this relationship, and uh, oh, I remember who told me now. So then, she she meets this guy. They have a good banter. He all of a sudden she's gone, and her assistant comes up to the guy and goes, "Um, she's uh, Miss Blah 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 is waiting for you upstairs." And she's like, <sighs> "It's like at her house that the party's going on." He goes upstairs. They bang, <gasps> and then he it. and then uh. I, I, I think this this is the what happened with Britney Spears. Britney Spears used to do this and summon guys upstairs or whatever, or like her assistant would just get them and tell them to arrive at the house or whatever. And then they brought up, and then they would bang. Britney yes. would go to the bathroom, you know, like as you do after you go to the bathroom, and then the assistant would she would text her assistant from the bathroom like get him out, and the assistant <gasps> would come and go, Miss Spears, um, uh, your car is ready, oh my sir. God, I love it. Your and car is ready. She would never leave her car oh even. God. She would never. This would just be during the day. She would. He would be brought to her house. Like she would like oh, ask, during the day or whatever. I love like it. she yes. wanted to have sex. She would ride a guy, come, go to the bathroom, then text her assistant, get this guy out of there. The guy would be gone by the time she went back to bed. So she would never have to say goodbye. She would oh, never have to do any of that like the awful. Actually, I love it. If I it was me, that would be like Miss Fian is waiting for you at a bus stop. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like wouldn't be that glamorous. I love Your it. Uber pool is here. <laughs> right, I love I that really, power. I think if I could do that, I would do that. If that I didn't Molly have any Cruz of the, because sometimes I just want to. Sometimes oh. I, you know, it's like such a rock star move. To just like, I don't like the after stuff. I don't like, sometimes even during sex, I would like to text my assistant and be like, can you get him out of here? <laughs> out right. of here. Can like, you get him dur- out of my pussy? Yeah, can get you ask him to can leave? You pull him out? I think it's just so brilliant. Then you don't have Love any it. of that awkward. I mean, oh I'm God. sure guys do this all the time. Male celebrities are getting their assistants yeah. to get rid of bitches constantly. Yeah. So, Derek so- Jeter used to give like a gift bag. Yeah. Huh. I've had guys like make me a cup of coffee at two in the morning. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, honey, this ain't a sleepover. I have to go now. Oh my god. I have to go coffee. home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> guys get so weird after sex. They yeah. really, I, I really yeah. avoid it. I avoid sex because I don't want to fart, and I avoid it because I don't want to <laughs> see them change afterwards. Do you kiss on the mouth after a hookup? Um, I, yeah, I would. Yeah. 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 Why? I always yeah. think that's like a test. I don't what? know. Like I think like it would oh, like, like kiss goodbye. Sometimes yeah, like guys don't want to. Yeah, yeah. Then it, like it's too romantic now. Yes, it's too romantic. We just uh, banged. Guys and it's are always over. trying to make out with me after they go down on me, and I'm like, oh, I know what that smells like. <laughs> Get uh, you don't do Jesus it. Jesus, I Karen. mean, I will reluctantly. <laughs> what? I, I mean, in fairness, I smelled Karen's it. chair, so I don't blame I her. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, but this is like, I just like a spin class, bro. I mean, it, maybe it's good for you, but <laughs> even if I'm not like as <laughs> fresh as a daisy. 
<laughs> First of all, oh. no guy's going down on me if I'm not fresh as a daisy. Like oh. I, w- I would just be like, no, you're not allowed to do that. Are right you kidding now. me? I'm like, clean it up. Me too. Can't I'm stay like, gross forever. <laughs> I know. I'm like, can you get that lint? <laughs> I love licking a guy's face after he goes down on me. <laughs> me too. Love I it. Know. I am like a golden retriever who hasn't seen his owner after he's been at war. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> like I pull them back up. I love it. I'm like, it's me. It's me. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the only way you could ever go down on yourself, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I used to. I remember the first time a guy did it. I was like. Oh God! Good yeah. night, sir. <laughs> like I was disgusted that he would even try, and then I now I've I love it. I guess it. it also depends on like it was like if it's if the first time I'm grossed out. Like once I start liking a guy, then I can like get into but it. But it's your juice either way. Yeah, it's I know. So but good. like the first time, I'm like, we're really that comfortable already? I don't know. Yeah, I guess it is. No, I it, what it is is like a pr- what's good for the goose. It's like that's how you know whether or not your pussy stink, and he's <laughs> trying to let you know. I know. Yeah. I'm like, I get it. I'm like. <laughs> You were down there for a while. <laughs> like, no, we I figure feel, it out beforehand. I feel. Do you and really? If it's bad. We're not. Yeah. Do you? How do you? How do you know? You do a little tip test. What I don't that? know. I've had guys I, pull you, off my pants and go right to it, and I'm like, that you should have tested it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You it, test you, it. You yeah. should have them pee on the pretty litter first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> check. <laughs> I do crystal. feel like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, Once in a blue moon, you'll just tear the panties off and go to town. But I feel you gotta, bad you when gotta I test it. It's just a. How will we know if they're like, if you're not into it? Like, how do we know if you're like, uh oh, this is a bad one. This you one's not right. You make yourself a cup of coffee. Or it is. <laughs> <laughs> you just head out. It's Pour a coffee go to, on it. Gotta go to work. <laughs> if they come back up for air within five seconds, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what a good would happen. Yeah. yeah, that's probably. But what like, they just like go straight to sex. How do you yeah, go down they just the start going like down. On, they start eating yeah. your ass. They're like, "This is probably better." <laughs> <laughs> at least I understand the smell. <laughs> uh, at least I understand this because you. I don't even understand vagina smell sometimes. No. I mean, it's just like, what's going on? By if, week if to you, week, it's if all, I really it's like death. the chick, I, I like her smell. Yeah. Certain smells, but if it's just like a whatever, it's like uh, you're really. That's the, the only dice. way I've known that I that I would like because sometimes you're just like I don't know what it's like down there, and when you lick a guy's face, you can be like, ah, oh, okay, I could do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I feel like okay, that or I'm you not can ask- lick his fingers. That's hot. Yeah, yeah, I've done that. You know. Yeah. Or sometimes you'll you'll peel the panties off, and you're like, this is. Honey. A penis. Really? (laughs) 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 Honey. Honey, yeah. Oh, man. She's got some real big clit energy. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've I've felt like not so fresh sometimes when I've had sex before and been like, don't go down. That's not. That's totally fine to communicate it. I'm just, yeah. I mean, I really feel like that's you, Ian. You would. What would it take for you to stop having sex once you started? No, what want. do we got to do? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm talking about it. Some, some sort of state emergency. <laughs> yeah. Tragedy. Yeah. <laughs> this Amber Alert can wait. Yeah. It's like, I mean, when we, uh, if we blow you after you've been inside us, then we're doing the same. We're licking yeah. ourselves off of you, yeah. essentially. Sometimes I do. Uh, yeah, I do that. And I'm like really surprised myself at what I taste like. Sometimes, like, oh, it's kind of like pennies. Yes, pennies. Oh, they fucked you in the ass, Karen. Damn. Yeah, yeah. That's, your <laughs> <Once again. laughs> that's what that. It's, it tastes like iron ore. Okay. <laughs> I've been working on this new bit about how. Um, you know, I'm tired of guys fingering us too soon, like before we're wet. Like it's just really makes me insecure. Oh, no. Well, wait a second, but that's how you get wet. No, no rub my clit to no. get me wet. Rub my like outside my pants. Yeah. Kiss me, oh, oh, okay, tits. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when they just go to finger like inside, and Ooh. you're totally like Ooh. dry. Oh, still. oh like before Especially, anything. Oh, not yeah. before anything, but they make out with you for like two minutes. Yeah. It's not enough to get. Yeah. I I need a little bit more than that to get wet. Maybe I'm an old bitch, but I and I, and I don't drink enough water. But I this need more time. What do you do? In. Do you move? the hand what, what's the move if they go in too soon no i just i try to will it wet while they're right. going down da- if i feel their hand going down i'm like just like 
please get wet, and I don't. Oh, my move, I'll just, like, blow them, and then I'm like, this will give me enough time. <laughs> yep, yep. That's, your That's move. a good move. That's a good move. I do that, too. Yeah, why, I do why that, too. Why has it got to be them doing all the work? Yeah. Why can't you hop because on top Because you guys don't wait for even me to blow you. That's right. the thing. Well, no. that's, uh-huh. that's why you make the time. You're like, oh, that sounds great, but real fast, let me blow you. Get the you know juices why? going. I don't want to blow you because you're not going to go down on me, and you don't deserve to be blown just because you're there. You don't know that. I'm so tired. But no, they deserve to finger you just because they're yeah, there? Yeah. If you blow them, yes. do the move where you flip around, and it's Fingering a Fingering takes no effort. It is so easy it's to do, easy. and it's so hot. Girls, getting putting a dick in your head is a lot to ask. Yep. Yep. No, I agree. So but then like throw if your pussy on their face. Mm. There you go. I don't want to force someone to do that if they don't want to do it. Yeah. Can you win at all? <laughs> yeah. I won't blow a guy till like the second or third time. And he'll be like coming at me with that like hard dick in my face. I'm like, mm, what's over there? I act really <laughs> Oh, distracted. yeah. I've started rejecting it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, nah. The guy I like, hook up with normally, me. he always is just like, it's just commonplace that it's we we make out a little bit and then his dick gets hard and then he moves it up to my head. Yeah. <laughs> and recently, <laughs> yeah, the other day. Like the last time we hooked up, he did it, and I was just, I just turned my head like a baby, Good. like on the chair, like I was just, like, no. a, yeah. like I felt like a baby on the changing What's table because you know when babies, you're like, you know, I don't know, like you know when you change a baby <laughs> and they're just like, no, 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 yeah, and I you, just, I like, just was like with my mouth because I didn't say it. That's why I felt like a baby because babies uh, can't communicate. So I just okay. felt like no, <laughs> like I just turned my head and pretended he wasn't so there. Funny. I'm just picturing him whacking your face with his dick. Like, no, on, he just kind of moved it around <laughs> near it and realized I wasn't gonna do it. I wasn't, I wasn't and taking the bait and so nice. then he just <laughs> like, right. he like just moseyed on wire. back down to finger me and I was like good job good, good job yeah. I am I'm done giving blowjobs away as like party favors like yeah. just because you just because you kiss me now and the next step is me blowing you no it's not yeah no it's it not have to be that I mean way. I made such a good film of me giving a blowjob that I don't feel like I should ever have to do it again oh my god where did, where is this footage it. it's on my phone you want it uh, yeah. I would love to see your styling bucks, Venmo <laughs> Oh my God! It's so weird because she's blowing a dude, but you still can't see her face. Yeah, oh, you can see my face. You can see everything too. I, I are you like, good at giving blowjobs? Yes, especially if the camera's on me. What's your trick? <laughs> oh, I know. A, yeah, a lot of space. Oh, I should pretend that I'm being filmed. That would make yeah. me so much better. More at into them. it, right? Because yeah. you like worry about your angles. You do a lot of eye contact. I do like the edging thing, where like you just like suck on the tip and keep spitting it, and like just like lick it and like not go full full blowjob until like two three minutes in. That is what I've heard. Is that a lot of girls go in. And they're they're at a ten. They're, they're deep throating try- too they're, early. They're, yeah, they're too at, they come in at a ten. No, a lot of guys do that too. You come in at yeah. a ten. Yeah, it, there's so much to be said for coming in at a two, yeah. keeping it at a two. Yeah. Look at you guys bragging about fucking dudes with dicks long enough to make a choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, I sometimes I jerk off alone and I can handle my hand because I'm so used to my hand. I hope you I jerk off alone. I hope it, most of the time you jerk off. Usually alone. alone. You said sometime well, I jerk some, off. I keep the window open. You never know. A bird, a pigeon. A picture, this is like Beauty and the Beast, and you're like, hello, Belle! <laughs> Out the window. Oh, hi, Andrew. <laughs> so, you're seeing someone now. Mm-hmm. Um, you're hooking up a lot. You're. This is the first time you've been in, you're a 39-year-old man. 38 in, not, in 11 months and 10 days. In, 20 15 days. days, yeah. Yeah, so, so you're 39. Okay. Give or take. I'd give. Take in it. Just take it. I am. 39. 38. You're in a new relationship with a 26 year old. 27 at some point. At some point. <laughs> give or take. She's 26. Take. Give. give. Thirty-nine-year-old man dating a twenty-six-year-old woman. That means you were a teenager when she was born. No big deal. Um, uh, I didn't hit puberty though until late. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> makes sense. It does make sense. Um, I had no pubes when she had no pubes. Okay. Which makes it fine oh, later in the life. If there was a point in your life where, where you, you both bo- didn't have pubes, then the age difference does not matter. Well, there was a, a year later. But a year later, when she you was got pubes. born. No pubes. No pubes. Straight up. And turn me on more, because you know how I feel about hair. Right. Exactly. (laughs) Um, So, yeah. So, you're in a new relationship. Uh, Is she mature for her age? She has an old uh, (laughs) soul. Soul. (laughs) A lot of these young women walking around with old souls. She's just been, she's seen things. Yeah. You know? Like Malala. 
Yeah, she's uh, she comes no from... No one says, well, I was young, but she's got an old soul. You only hear about girls who are Instagram models with old souls. For some reason, we're, t we're really um, celebrating the souls of all these hot women <laughs> to justify why older men are dating younger women. No, but she's, like, really got an old soul. But here's the thing. I, I feel like I have a very young soul. That's true. So you guys, old, like... Old Old face, young soul. Right, right. So I think we counterbalance. So she's each telling other. her friends, "Listen, he is old, but he has like he's really immature. Very old dick, very young. Super soul. old dick. Super old, disgusting balls. Mm -hmm. Such a young soul. I mean, this does guy, she compliment your um, penis? No, she hasn't. Well, she hasn't said anything about. She said one time, um, "Is it get bigger? No, 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 she no, no, no. She, no. She'll say it feels good." She says great. it feels good? Yeah, it That's feels nice. great. Um, but never like, oh, how am I going to put my mouth around that? Right, like There's you no, would you would call her on that if that was the case. You'd be yeah, like, well, she well, would that's have ridiculous. no mouth. She would have uh, just... Maybe it'd be, to get it in her nostril would be a struggle. Which one? She did a lot of coke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's good. Though. I don't know. It's, it's been fun. She's cool. She, yeah, the age difference, I don't feel that much. Right. I think if she was 22, it's, there's a difference. I mean, you tell me, as a woman, when you're 21, 22, as opposed to 20. I think once you get past 25, you're getting towards 30, you know? Yeah. Like, there's, you've been through that party phase, most likely. You already went clubbing. Yeah, I, I don't you're have on the a problem tail end it. of it. I don't have a problem with it because it is it's truly the norm that a, a, a man is 13 years older than his girlfriend. It's, uh, that's, that's, no one would even, no one, it's, that, that's very common. The other yeah. way around is not common. If I was dating someone who's 13 years younger than me, a 21-year-old boy, it would be, I would get, I mean, it would, I could never do it. I mean, I could. It'd be legal. Yes. But, like, I would get so much shit for it. But here's the thing. If you could date a 26-year-old. And I know the age difference, but I'm saying no one would care. I know you're doing the gap. I'm 33. No, no, well, 34. Oh, that's right. I am 34. I was like, shit. Give or take. I usually round up to 35, to be honest. When I put it in the treadmill, I just go 35. I'm like, I'm going to be there eventually. There is something on the treadmill. I don't know. Someone's had to have done a bit where you start scrolling, you know, when they start at 30. Or they start your weight at whatever. And you have to scroll farther away from it. I buy your plane tickets every week. I know how long it takes me to get it to 19 fucking <laughs> 72. <laughs> I go scrolling. I'm an 80 scrolly, baby. Scrolly. I'm an 80 baby. An 80 baby. Literally, 1980. Mm-hmm. 80. Okay. What were we talking about? This is your first relationship in... Yes. Ever? A ever, I guess, as an yeah. adult. As an adult. And, ha and you're also newly on Zoloft. Yes. And I can't uh, calm that much. Mm-hmm. But I feel great. Yeah. So it's like a very, I, it's a tough dilemma because I've never worked out more. I've never felt more confident. I've never uh, been more aware and present. Mm -hmm. But the penis is a not a shoot in anything. Right. But it still feels good? Like you can still? Uh, it doesn't get to the point of like. But do you feel ah. the frustration of it? Or are you just like, But that's the thing. I don't, don't feel, even feel the that. frustration. So then what's. Then that what's there to the only thing is the other person. The what? The person. The only thing, only thing, mm -hmm. is the other person uh, if you're feeling bad for them. Okay. I mean, sure, I'd like to. I gotta say, girl, we don't really care. If, like, But if, if it never care, happens? Mm, yeah. Then you start to get a little suspicious of like... A lot of girls will go, oh, what's wrong with me? They'll, they'll put it on themselves. Yeah. I've had that before. And say it's just your old soul. It grosses me out. Your tits are fantastic. They're way up there. Your puss is great, but that old soul, that's yeah, a problem. It, it could be, you know. She could just be too wise 